Karma culture for me, it's a way of looking at the world, looking at yourself, that invites infinite possibility and uh, creativity. So everything is possible um, from what you have, and that it's a it's a world view. It's a way of seeing life rather than you know um, a very specific uh, ways of doing things. And also, it's in different aspects of life rather than just say in um, gardening. Which is what most people think of it as. Um, for me, permaculture is is a way to live a life. It's it's let's see, it, it's it's basically a guideline. It provides you a guideline, a foundation, how you can how you can live your life sustainably and self sufficiently at the same time, um, without being um, a pain on Mother Earth. <laughs> well, what sticks to me is permaculture, like permanent agriculture, that, that aspect. But uh, actually it doesn't contain everything that is in there. Uh, there's a huge social fundament in, 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 uh, in permaculture to make it uh, happen. But it is definitely a way, well, to me, to, have, to create or to have or maintain a sustainable living. And it's a, it's a movement, uh, for me it's a, a way of going to school again, and that school was never go, uh, done. Uh, and it's actually, you know, the numbers are the veggies that you can harvest and the good moments that you share with people. The way I try to approach life, um, following the three permaculture ethics, that's care of the earth, care of people, and um, a fair distribution of resources. It's very much an introductory course. We want to introduce people, um, firstly, to, the, to the, the philosophy, the ethics, and the principles and behind permaculture, and then we also need, want to introduce them to the process, how to actually follow the design process. Um, so to that end, we talk quite a lot about the stages in the design process, and we give students practice to complete a permaculture design within the course. Added into that is all sorts of information about um, ecosystem health, soil health, water retention, um, uh, gardening strategies, um, social permaculture, uh, economy and finance, um, natural building, all sorts of, of um, information that will help them and will guide them to create the content within that design process. This is a two weeks long course where we introduce many topics from permaculture but we don't go in depth in any of them. So it shows to people the full spectrum of permaculture. That permaculture is an, if you're looking for a lifestyle change, change if you're if you're concerned about the world as it is if you want to look at alternative ways of living then this is a really really great place to start main thing we have had apart from all this knowledge from the course is the connection we formed and it's actually part of the course because the first day was just about getting to know each other understanding each other and so it's been really amazing because of the people component and the networking we've done the community behind it, I think, is what I find most valuable. I arrived to this permaculture course knowing no one in Europe, and now I have friends that are taking me hiking and others that want to live on my farm. And so I guess for me, permaculture is a community of people that want to connect. Um, one of the big things that I've learned from this course is that there's no one right way. And I had known that before, but my background in chemistry especially says that, you know, most things do kind of have a right, right way. If you want to get a particular result, particular amounts of certain agents will make that result. But here, listening to everybody else's stories and making compost in three different ways and learning about how in different parts of the world different aspects of permaculture are important or not has really... I don't know, broadened my idea of what's possible on my own farm.